Celebrating 27 years of the popular festival, Summerlin Festival of Arts returns to downtown Summerlin this weekend and expanding to three days for the very first time. Yes, and joining us to share all the exciting details is marketing director Jenny Pivato. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Thanks hey. for having me. Oh, well, thank you for we're coming excited in. to get chatting. I mean, you know, this is the first time that it'll be a, a full three days. Talk to us about what people can expect. So I am super excited for the added third day today. So this year we're opening on Friday instead of Saturday like we normally do. And on Friday what you'll find is our artists will be on the lawn selling their fine art. So they are juried in. So that's one thing that sets this, this art festival apart. Um, and in addition to the artists who will be selling their fine art, you will get to interact a little bit with some of our friends from First Friday Foundation who are going to be painting some spools which you will then later see at First Friday going forward. So it's the tables that they use at the event. I don't know if you've been to First Friday? Yes. yes. Um, so then starting on Saturday, we're bringing in all of our community fun things. So crafts for kids from Las Vegas Review Journal, also Children's Discovery Museum. I'll, there are four different local high schools that'll be there doing live art. So students are coming in to show you what they can do. So it's not just fine art now, it's fine art of the future. We believe that there's art and science. So there's gonna be some science and engineering activities for kids too. And one of my favorite things that we're doing, bringing back for the second year in a row, is the cultural district presented by the Southern Nevada Paiute Tribe and intertribal friends, Nuwu Arts. Um, and there you'll be able to purchase fine and folk art created by the Southern Nevada Paiutes and friends. And you can also see them do the Native American dancing, which is really beautiful. That'll be out in the dining arroyo on the hour on Saturday and Sunday. Great. Well, I mean, Jenny, you just rolled off like pretty much everything, I think. <laughs> we, we, I can think of a few more things. Like, there's a lot. That, I, mean, I, I want to tell just, you a lot more. This. That's incredible. Um, so we, we obviously we have here a, a beautiful array and very colorful snapshot of just a few of the artists who'll be there this weekend. Um, there are hundreds in total though, right? From Nevada and all yes. over surrounding states. But how do you guys pick? Is there a lottery? You know, do you guys have a, have a, have a committee meeting as to who to pick? You know, how do you do it? It's not a committee meeting. <laughs> Actually, I, I mentioned it earlier. So we have a jury that, so all of the artists um, start submitting their uh, request an application beginning in December and that goes through the spring and then we have a panel of fine artists who jury and make sure that the art that's coming into the festival is all categorized as fine art. So everything that you're seeing is a carefully cultivated collection of art and it's designed as you can see from the different mediums we have here to make sure that we've got a little bit of everything. We encourage a local and a regional draw as well as nationwide. So. We like to represent a little bit of everything. Make sure that there's something for everybody at this festival. I love that. And you know, we were talking about adding that third day. Talk to us about if there's anything special or different from years before. Well, as I mentioned, the first Friday activation is new this year. Um, and a couple of those artists will also be selling fine art on the lawn throughout the weekend. So that's exciting. And it is a new partnership for us to have our friends from first Friday there. Uh, and then I think Friday has the potential to be a little bit quiet and really give you that um, go see the art like like go a preview and day feel it almost yeah. like a yeah. almost like a first look at the art uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then it picks up on Saturday you know like car show and all the crazy fun stuff so just depending on your energy pick a day come see us it's free all three days it's going to be really exciting. You, you mentioned First Friday. Obviously, that's a that's a, a new partner. Um, what, who are some of the other benefiting partners or associations that, that will will benefit from this? Absolutely. So I mentioned Children's Discovery Museum. They're going to be there doing crafts for kids. We have the UNLV Engineering School doing technical um, engineering activities with kids. Also, the Nevada Association of Land Surveyors which you would not necessarily think of I that when you think of art, right? right? Um, but it's really cool. You can also purchase art from Summerlin Hospital. So the children who do the art when they're in the hospital wing, that art is going to be for sale. You can check that out. And as I mentioned, again, the Southern Nevada Paiutes, that art is just a spectacular thing to explore as well. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Las Vegas Review Journal who helped us make this whole thing possible. And they have a really cool character craft for kids to come and do with them. Great. I love well, it. Jenny, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Yeah. Yes, thank you for having me. Yep, and for more information, please visit summerlin.com.